So hi, awesome ones. Today I have 10 amazing style tips to help your looks look expensive even if you're on a budget. And don't forget to stay till the end because I'm going to have five more bonus tips there. And it's all going to be about how to look elegant and classy even in the warmer weather. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to start off with an outfit that has my tips number one, two, and three. It's très chic and classy. Here I am wearing tip number one, which is a classic white and black outfit. If you want a look that's expensive, this combo is it. I also love how long skirts are trending and this pleated polka dot one is fabulous. For tip number two, wear a smaller purse with a delicate chain. And by the way, most of this outfit is from Amazon and very budget friendly. Now tip number three is to wear a pump style shoe and a skin coat tone color makes you look slimmer and taller. You can also wear a flat like these classic styles from Skechers. I'll have those Skechers shoes and a lot of the other styles that I'm showing today. They'll be underneath the video description or also in the comments. And by the way, that pleated polka dot skirt, it's less than $35. And in the next outfit, I have tips number four, five, six, and seven. And I'm even including a skirt because a lot of you were saying to me, you know, how do I design? How do I style this skirt? So let's take a look. Now here I have a classic look of white and navy. I'm wearing a longer length skirt by belief, which you can see has built in shorts. Tip number four is to wear longer shorts or skirts. And tip number five is to wear a white top that is not see-through. You don't want that if you want to look chic. I'm also wearing a leather pair of Ked sneakers. And for tip number six, if you are wearing sneakers, make sure they're clean and crisp white. And that doesn't even matter. You could even wear them in canvas. And I also have a stretchy brown belt because brown and navy and white make a classic look. And this is my tip number seven. And of course, I just put on a simple straw purse to complete the look. Perfect for a warm day. My next tip number eight is to have a go-to dress that has really an elegant flair to it. I just bought this next one recently. So here I have a dark navy dress in a stylish look with a peplum ruffle accent. That also helps to hide my tummy and the dress length is not too short. And I'm also wearing a pump shoe again. I also have a navy wrap dress, which I wanted to show you right now. It also hides the tummy and is tray chic. I think that navy is nicer for the warmer months than a, like a little black dress, but it's still slimming if you need that. And if you like fashion, I think you're going to love my live events where I show some of my recent fashion finds and also makeup and skincare, and I review them too. And it's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50. And if you can't make it, I've got the reruns there as well, but I really hope that you can make it because we just kind of hang out like girlfriends and sort of chat and browse and look at lots of things that I recently bought. Now for my next tip, let's talk about jewelry. Very simple, delicate jewelry is not only in, but it's very, very elegant as well. Let's take a look. Now I just got these new hoop earrings and they are so classy. I've also paired them with a delicate 18 karat gold plated two tier necklace. Each of these are under $20. My next tip is to wear jewel tones. A lovely gold or royal blue or even a purple adds a little bit of luxe to an outfit. Let's take a look. 
This beautiful gold wrap top is so elegant and it looks expensive, but it's not. And so do tops in a sapphire blue, ruby red, and royal purple, which are all jewel tone colors. And let me know in the comments if you have a tip, you know, to look elegant on a budget. And by the way, I do a lot of videos on fashion, skincare, makeup. And if you're not a subscriber, we've put a new button just below. It's really easy peasy. I would love for you to join us in, the, in our little community that we have here. And after you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell for the notifications for when my videos are out. All right, so I promised you some bonus tips and I have five of them, starting with tip number one, and that is to get yourself a steamer. You're not gonna look chic and elegant if your clothes are all wrinkly. And the other thing that's good about a steamer is in the warmer weather, a lot of times we're wearing a little bit more delicate fabrics and this is a lot safer than an iron. And tip number two is to wear an inexpensive bandeau bra like this one. And you know, if you have tops or dresses with the skinny little spaghetti straps or maybe they're off the shoulder, it's just not classy to be showing your bra straps. So bonus number three, especially with summer dresses, wear a dress that more skims your body than is tight fitting. And bonus number four, why not invest in some 10-year investment items? And, and you're probably going, what's she talking about? Well, you know what? If you invest in a really nice pair of shoes like these Michael Kor ones that I have, probably what will happen is you'll take care of them and they could last you for 10 years. And the same thing goes with my fold-up Ray-Ban polarized glasses, or polarized, I guess, glasses, sunglasses. Uh, I really take care of them and I am sure that I'm going to get 10 years use out of them because I will take care of them. And also, a handbag. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, a big designer purse or anything like that, but this is my go-to fossil purse. I absolutely love it. It's a crossbody. And again, it's an investment piece because I know I'm going to have it probably for at least 10 years. My next tip is to wear a little bit of makeup. You know, a little mascara, a little lipstick, it really helps to elevate your outfits and help you to look chic. And if you're worried about, you know, the hot weather and your mascara running, why not try the waterproof mascara? And also, if you're thinking, well, I don't know how to put on makeup, I'm going to put on two of my favorite videos at the end screen of this video for you so you can take a look at the tutorials. You know, I think it's so important, especially if you've been in a bit of a style rut, to get out of that rut. You know, this is the time, the warmer weather, to get out there and enjoy, enjoy life again, enjoy the great outdoors, and also maybe feel a little bit of elegance and a little bit chic. And to me, that's all part of keeping it awesome.